hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a color transformation as you can see so number one i already bleached her mid shaft up to the ends i let that turn and then now i'm working immediately on her roof and what you want to do is you always want to do roof last because you do not want to get hot roof don't want to get hot roof so you see me just applying it I'm coating the bleach on there and I'm really working it in. I'm not overlapping the bleach. I'm not putting the bleach on top of the other bleach because that definitely will leave a line of demarcation and it just mm -mm, it just won't, won't sit right. It won't work right, honey. So yes, you just want to work that in. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. See me going underneath. Getting all them black spots, honey. Cause we started her hair was all black everything was all black so this is going to be a definite transformation just watch and see honey and you see how like i'm rubbing it i'm constantly rubbing it right there just keep doing it because you just want to really work it And when I get to where the um, bleach that I'm putting on her roots meets the other bleached hair, you see me turn my brush. And I turn it vertically instead of having it horizontal. That way it's not leaving no lines of demarcation at all. You watch. Do it right there. Boom. Y'all see it. Say it's a Johnny. I promise you. Y'all are going to love it. So y'all told me y'all love the last voiceover, honey. And I was so hyped. So let me know down below if you're loving it. Because I'm loving it. And also comment down below. Down below like, what do y'all want to see next? Like, y'all know how to do it all, honey. Case creation. Period. This is in real time right here. I didn't fast forward this up because I really want y'all to see how fast I'm moving and stuff. Like, I got all her ends bleached within 15 minutes and went right back in and did the roots immediately. Also, the bleach that I'm using is Quick Blue. I'm not using BW2. Nothing's wrong with BW2, but when you do an on scalp, you know, application, sometimes the BW2 starts stinging and burning real quick. The... I think it's called L'Oreal Quick Blue, I think. But the Quick Blue, it gets really, really light, which is one thing that I love. And also, it does not burn. Like, I kept, you know, I constantly ask my client, like, is everything okay? Do you, are you experiencing any burning, itching? Let me know immediately. She was like, girl, I don't feel nothing. I don't understand why. <laughs> like, it's amazing. And I'm just, you know, getting in it, getting in it, getting in it. Yep, so I'm just really putting that product in there and just working it in with my fingers, rubbing it, to make sure everything is heavily saturated and coated, honey. And I'm just checking the back. And y'all see that the the roots are like this brownish color, kind of like a honey blonde. That's the color I want the roots to be. I want it to be really, really close to the ends, but not as bright as the ends, if that makes sense. Y'all gonna see why. It's gonna give off like this smoky, rootish color. Like y'all see, for the most part, she is all golden, honey. It looks all the same color. <laughs> but these are the colors that I'm using. And I created this custom color, honey. But y'all see how when I apply it, it's like a little bit darker at the root. That's the color. Oh, yes. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm getting every single hair, honey. The baby hairs, everything. You do not want to leave anything out. You want to apply this evenly. And you want to work it in just like you would the bleach. And 
And I'm also applying this on damp hair. This is freshly washed hair. And y'all see her curl pattern did not go away. I did not fry her hair up. None of that. I believe in healthy hair, honey. Her hair is still healthy. She still has her curls. And she is completely natural. And she also uses my hair growth oil called Hair Crack, honey. And let me say, y'all, it bought all her edges back. Like, my girl hair done grew from the last time I saw her. Crazy. If you like to purchase it, you can hit me up on my Instagram at Case Creation. And I got you. And I do ship as well. I'm right back to this, honey. I am just applying that color. And I'm not just leaving a dent of color when I first apply it. I'm rubbing it. Like I tell y'all, I'm rubbing it. As soon as I put it right there, I rub it with my hand to bring it down her shaft a little bit. Then I can see you to apply that color. And you see me like doing windshield wiper motions with the color because it's really like going to saturate the hair and get in any little piece that I might not see all the way. So I'm just really, really working in. Then I also go in even farther and work it in with my hands. One section done. See, when I apply it around the perimeter, I still don't leave that harsh line. I still rub that out because I do not want that harsh line to stay. I want to kind of like fade it out, that makes sense. Just going to apply this all over the hair. And when you apply it on damp hair, you take so much product. So much. I'm just going to let y'all watch this, and I'll be back. Okay, honey, so we are all washed, blow dry out, and now I'm just giving her a quick little trim. Nothing too serious, just a little quick trim. She didn't really want me to take much off because there is some ends that really need to come off, but I just took off a little bit. Just so it gives a cleaner look once it's flat ironed. We were going to do curls, but my client didn't want a side part, and the curls that I was going to go for it really wasn't going to like vibrate with the middle part so I was like you know what I'm just going to give you a silky press out and call it a day but do y'all see it do y'all see it like you can see the root is like a tad bit darker darker just like a little little bit but for the most part it's all that nice like I don't even know what to call it like orangey auburny color if <laughs> that makes sense so cute Give me a name. Comment below, honey. Give me a name. What should we call this color, honey? Bomb. And when you press it out freshly colored hair, honey, you want to put your flat iron on about 300 or 325. You do not want your flat iron to be too high because it will mess up the color. It will mess up. And you do not want that. I'm just going in. Pressing her out. Pressing her out real quick. I'm just pressing it and pressing it out.
So I am back, honey. Do y'all see this? Yes, look at that shine and that hair, that luster. Get into it. Get into it. <laughs> Bomb. I had to do a slow bow just for y'all. Period. She is all done, honey. She was feeling herself. Before I could get my camera out to do a video, she was doing a video. I said, oh, honey, wait a minute. <laughs> she was cracking up. I said, wait, I got to get mine too. But make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, honey. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified every time that I post. Thank you again, guys. Bye.